hi in this video I'll show you how to add a page to your Squarespace website I'm here in the clove template which is one of my favorite Squarespace templates I'll drop a link to it below so let's add a new page first let's take a little look at what we have here we have lots of great demo pages so we've got an about demo page we've got services team blog contact but let's say we want to add a frequently asked questions page. So let's go to the plus sign and let's start with page layouts. This is going to make our life a little easier because it's going to give us a fully laid out page and we can go right to FAQs. And here are some options for that layout. I think this one looks really nice. So let's start with that one. And the weird thing is now it's called FAQs one, which is bizarre. So let's go in, click the cog icon, and we're just going to change this to FAQ, FAQ, the URL slug. We want that to be really simple and neat and easy to read. So FAQ, um, that makes users happy. It makes Google happy. So let's change that. Now, whenever you use those um, templated pages, one thing that you need to do is go into the SEO menu and delete this SEO title because it fills that in for some odd reason and it will show up in Google like that and it's weird. So just delete that. Later, if you wanna come back and fill this out, it's always good practice to have an SEO title and description for your page, but it's not necessary to do right at the beginning. So let's save that. And now we have our FAQ page. Easy peasy, we can go in and just update the content here. And now that we have this page added, we can change where it lives. So let's say we want it to stay here in the main navigation, but we don't want it to be the first option. It should probably come somewhere between team and blog makes the most sense. So your most important things, I typically like to put first or last in this menu because they get the most notice. So I would start with services and end with contact unless your blog is the most important thing, and then put that first. FAQ kind of buried in the middle is fine. And then often FAQs don't even need to live here in the main navigation. We can link to them from places in the website where people might have questions. If that's the case, you can go ahead and drag it down here to not linked. It's still live on the site. It just doesn't appear here. A really handy place to put things like that is in the footer. So for example, we could edit the footer and change get started to FAQ and link it up with our new FAQ page here. And let's save that. Now we have a beautiful FAQ page. If your site is live, one trick is to always add the pages that you're creating under not linked. Um, that way they're not appearing on your main navigation and you can always drag them up there when you're ready. So let's say our site's live. We're going to go ahead and add a new page under not linked. Then let's look at what we could start with. We could start with a blog. We could start with a store, a portfolio events, or we could look at some more page layouts. So let's go ahead and click page layouts. And there are so many great options here. So you could start with a new services page and use one of these to get started. You could use an about page layout. Let's close this and let's investigate what is our options are with the blog. So if you're starting a blog, there are some different options here for the blog layout, but you're not tied to one of these. So for any page that you're adding, if you start with a layout, you can change it once you've already started that page. So for example, let's click on this blog. And again, it's going to call it blog two, which is really weird. Um, so you would update all these and then remember, go into SEO, get rid of the blog two and save it. And now we've chosen the grid here, but if we click edit, we can click the edit button for this section and change the layout. So for blogs in particular, there are a few different options for layouts here that you can change. For other pages that we're creating, once you have the page created like our FAQ, you can go in and edit it any way you want. So you could add sections. So you could add a new section here that um, has a link to your Instagram if you wanted. So I have a follow our journey with an Instagram block. So you could set that up. You could change the background of any of these sections. So they kind of look nice together. So if we wanted to go dark and minimal here, we could break up these sections, make them stand out a little bit more. And if you're curious about how to change the colors, I have another video on that. I'll drop the link below. 
And there you have it. That's how you add pages in Squarespace. So the fastest, easiest way is to start with those layouts and then play from there. Just remember to always go into the page settings, into SEO, and delete that weird SEO title that it's adding there. And then clean up the page title, nav title, and URL slug to something really simple. So we could just call this tips. So keep those neat and tidy and Google and users will understand what's at that page. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions, just drop them in the comments below. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I publish more videos like this about Squarespace and you'll get notifications when new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.